My husband and I have been married for close to 15 years and I love him. Married to, uh, was married to her husband for 15 years. He loves me too in his own way and is a good father to the children. Recently, his love has turned... Recently, so it wasn't as if it was there in the beginning. His love has turned to vicious jealousy. He believes I've always indulged in secret affairs and has compiled a list of suspects, which includes my former boss, a friend's husband, and my new boss. But where is it what we are? <laughs> are you really? <laughs> ah, don't you? It's good to tell you. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> hey. Now, he, hey. Now he's resorting to violence. He's threatening Whew. to maim me if I don't confess to all these drummed up affairs and the children are getting a bit frightened of him. More than a bit, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. The last straw was when he recently grabbed me by the throat because wow. I was dancing, according to him, I was dancing so seductively at an outdoor party. So he grabbed her by the throat. <sighs> I want to say that I'm thinking of leaving him as I don't want to lose my life or limbs because of a crime I'm not guilty of. But he said he will kill the two of us if I tried to leave, meaning that he will kill Awawu and, and kill then himself. he will kill himself. Should I go to the police? Before you go to the police, I will first of all run for your life. He, mm. when she says he recently became violent, it's not recent. He probably recently started to grab her by the throat, but he has been violent in his, in his attitude towards her for a while. This thing doesn't suddenly show up. So the signs are there. 15 years of marriage is 15 years of enduring all kinds of things that eventually degenerated into grabbing her by the throat publicly. And when she says her children are a bit, she's minimizing the reality of what she's dealing with. And mm. this is a good time to deal with this violence thing, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, whether it's economic. If he's violent, he's not your husband. He's a threat to your life, to your peace, to your future, to your destiny, and to mm. your children. You are better off alone struggling with your children than enduring something that is damaging, not just to you and your self-esteem, but your children. You're normalizing violence for your children. You're modeling a negative idea of marriage to your children. You're telling your children, this is acceptable, this is normal, and this is what we can also do. So... Okay, now, I also... That's the children angle. That's going far. Oh, that's going far. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I also think that... Um, well, before she leaves, the earlier she reports to the police, the better. Absolutely. Uh, be because with violence, even with playing, mm. accidents mm -hmm. do happen. Mm -hmm. And then with violence, you never know what you might do in self-defense. Absolutely. Uh, imagine, for example, you had a bottle nearby or a pair of scissors nearby when it grabbed your knife. throat. Or a knife. You don't know what you could do with it. Mm. So the earlier you report to the police, that's what I usually Absolutely. recommend. As soon as you as notice possible. any fall of d d violence, go and document it. Absolutely. Um, the police will know how to give you... But well, you know, incidentally, what a, people, a lot of people don't realize is that mm. there's a gender-based GBV desk at, I think, almost every police almost station. Almost every Oh, yes. Yeah. And yes. they are effective. Yes. But uh, Jimmy, they are... E okay. Yes. Jimmy, Jimmy, they are effective. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot do me a bad thing when I call you Jimmy. So... Okay. <laughs> I do not call you Bashir. <laughs> they're effective, yes. you know, because they're usually headed by, I, I, you know, I've had calls to encourage someone to report there, and I was surprised at the way they swung no, into I, I, action. I'm an, un, I'm an unannounced and unspoken ambassador of that unit. They exactly. have a very strong unit in the Ministry of Justice, and mm -hmm. you know, we collaborate with them once in a while, providing that provision mm -hmm. for, for those who are under this kind of strain. Uh, you can't handle this yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is quite clear. Absolutely. The gentleman in question, in case he's listening, uh, we don't know, usually we don't know these things. But if any other person is under this kind of disposition, Absolutely. your best bet is to check yourself in with a psychiatrist. Because Absolutely. It definitely it's a mental disorder. It's a mental disorder. That's it. It That's is it. a mental That's disorder. It.